Today we're going to show you how to use an interlocking cleat system to hang pictures and mirrors. This represents the strongest and most secure mounting system. This is what a finished wall looks like. And this is what it looks like on the inside of that same wall. As you can see, there are two by four studs that are spaced 16 inches apart. And the drywall is fastened to those studs with screws, and then it's uh, spackled over and finally painted. As a point of information, even though they're called two by fours, the studs are actually one and one half inches wide. These are some of the tools that you will need to properly hang your frame. One of the first steps is to measure the width of the picture frame so that you can center the hanger. We strongly suggest using an electronic stud finder to locate the center of the stud. Take a moment to level the cleat that's mounted to the wall. This is a demonstration to show how the cleats fit together. This will give you a good idea how you have to attach the other cleat to the back of the picture. Take note, you need to screw the wider side of the cleat to both the wall and the back of the picture frame so that there's enough clearance for the cleat to properly engage. Okay, now you can see we have the one cleat on the back of the picture frame, the other cleat fastened to the wall. Now watch how they engage each other. Bingo, just like that. Now the picture is hung solid and stable. On a fairly light picture or mirror, using one cleat on the upper rail is sufficient. However, once the weight starts to go above 30, 40, or even 50 pounds, what's going to happen is that most of the stress of the weight is going to be supported by the two lower corner joints. This, of course, is not a desirable situation. The workaround for this is to install another cleat along the lower frame rail, as we've shown here. Install the lower cleat the same way you installed the upper cleat, and carefully measure the distance between the two cleats, because this is going to be your reference for installing the lower cleat on the wall. Now you have it, a frame that's mounted and supported both top and bottom and fits perfectly flush to the wall.